Well, John, uh, congrats on a great career. Um, talk to me about the decision there. I mean, before when we talked at Media Day, you said that you were going to stop doing this when you weren't having fun anymore. But it looked like you had fun in there tonight. I was. I was having a lot of fun. I was uh, messing with him a little bit when he was on my leg, <laughs> trying to get him to lean forward so I can hit him easier. But uh, no, man, I'm having fun. But at the same time, the body doesn't react the way I want it to anymore. The recovery is not quite the same. I don't want to go down a, a dirty road. So, you know, I think it's a great time. 32, eight, two and one, it's pretty good. I've got titles I've won. Um, Neiman's great fighter, great guy, total, total class act. I hope that he uh, keeps moving forward and proves. I hope he becomes a champ, that'd be great. We talked to him a little bit. I'd love to come out in New York and train with Dan here in the desk squad and, and uh, let him feed off of some of my knowledge and some of my dirty tricks that I've picked up and learned over the years. And you've been a top fighter for years in the UFC and in, in PFL in World Series of Fighting and Bellator. So when you reflect on that all, can you even sum it up? You know, how proud are you of what you accomplished inside the cage? It's wild. I, I haven't ton, had a ton of time to sit back and reflect because I've kind of been in it. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of what I've done. When I look around at the landscape and where other people are, I'm very proud of it. Um, I've had some mistakes here and there along the way that I'm not real proud of, but overall it was a good, good, good run. Um, it's something I think my kids will look up to and, and admire when they're old enough to understand it. Is there any specific moment that sticks out in your head that, that, that was your all time favorite, anything in your career? Man, you know, two biggest moments were the GSP fight and uh, when I got to fight in Brazil, just because the, the all, everything around those yeah, <laughs> this everything around those fights, the buildup, uh, the experience, it was, it was all awesome. Uh, the the um, World Series final title fight was amazing. Fighting Jake Shields in Madison Square Garden was amazing. You know, it's just it's, it's a, a list of hits. Uh, John, I, I talked to you a couple of times this year, and the first time I talked to you, you talked about maybe having three fights this year. Was that was this uh, something an inkling in your mind, like, hey, if I don't win tonight? I'm going to do this or is this kind of something in the moment or like, uh, no, it, what, what? I mean, I, I, I said this before, like before the Jake Shields fight, um, they noticed some, some brain scarring and I'd been through plenty of other shit at the time. And I was just like, you know, if Jake beats me tonight, then maybe it's time just to be done. And then I won. And then I said it again for the next fight and the next fight, and the next fight. And, um, you know, I was having a lot of fun for this last one, but at the same time, just training for a fight takes so much of my time away from my kids. And it's unfair to them for me to, okay, I, I, I got to take a two-hour nap. You guys watch TV because I had to take a two-hour nap. It's, it's, not, it's not cool. And uh, if I'm not fighting for titles, if I'm not fighting for millions of dollars, like I, I have some things that I can do. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on still doing some things, uh, you know, on the other side in, in MMA and in some other places uh, where I'll still be around, <clears throat> uh, you know. So I got ways to make money outside of the cage. I'm going to do that. And you also talked to me about like that one issue with Gracie Jiu Jitsu and MMA, the transition thing. Now that you faced a Gracie, a pretty good one, he did pretty good against you. What do you think of Gracie's an MMA? Oh, he did great. Um, and we talked a little bit about me coming out and getting to train with him a little bit. Cause I mean, there's little things uh, that he was doing to me. And I was like, Oh, if he knew this, I'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's definitely some things I could help with, but like, you know, he's definitely the better man tonight. Um, we'll see where he's at when he's 42. So I'm just curious to know, what's next for you? Do you have any interest in uh, being a coach, going into MMA commentating? Tell us what you have next in mind. I, I, I don't want to talk too much about it, but I'm, I'm thinking about getting into the business of helping fighters build their brand because that's a major problem with a lot of guys right now because it's not all about fighting and winning fights. Promoters want you to have a buzz around you regardless of whether you're in the cage or not. They want you to have, you know, 50 to 100,000 social media followers they, they don't want to have to tell people who you are. They want people to know who you are. I think there's a, a, a need in the market where I might be able to fit in and, and help some people out in that way. Everybody benefits then. The promoters benefit and so do the fighters. All right, we're going to take one or two questions from the internet. Jay? Congratulations, uh, John, on a heck of a career wrapping up tonight. Uh, we know retirements in MMA don't always stick. It sounds like you're pretty set, but is there anything that would get you back? One million dollars. <laughs> Supposed to do the, the picky. There it is. There we go. <laughs> Good stuff. You know, now, uh, talks, but like the, you know, uh, just the amount, the amount of time it takes to train for a fight. It really does take time away from my family, 
And uh, I, I'm not comfortable with that. So if I was making more money and I could pay nannies to like do all the stuff I need to be done and, and I could still be there for the kids, that'd be great. But it's just not the way it is right now. I've been doing this 18 years. I've had over 40 fights. I think it's a wrap. John Carlo. Hi, John. Congrats on a great career. Uh, you were just talking about there about maybe helping fighters now on the promotion side of things. Uh, with Bellator now signing that deal and moving over to CBS Sports, uh, what do you th hope that will do for some of these fighters now? Anything that gets more exposure is a good thing. The more, the more eyes on the fighters gives them more opportunities to get sponsorships, to get affiliate sales deals. Uh, you know, more eyes is just more money. Thank you, John. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, Neiman guys. will be joining us. In Appreciate just all you. Here. Neiman, congratulations on the win, man. Uh, talk to me about that performance going out there and, and beating a legend like John Fitch, somebody you grew up watching in, in his final fight. Um, I think this is one of the biggest wins of my career. You know, John Fitch is one of the best welterweights of all time. If you like it or not, he is, you know. He beat everybody, uh, every Walter Wade you can imagine. He only lost to, to champions, you know, so he's a really tough guy. The first submission, uh, the first submission that I had on him, his knee popped, he screamed, and he didn't tap out. Second submission that was very close, he defended well. So it was a great fight. I'm really happy. It's been a year I don't fight, you know, so it took me a little while to get in fight mode, but... I'm very happy. Talk to me uh, about the respect that you have for John and being able to share that moment with him. You gave him the microphone first. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? How can you not respect a guy like John Fitch? You know, how many fights he has? 40, almost 50. So the guy is one of the best ever, man. And uh, I'm a huge fan. And I asked him to come to New York, train with, with us, and teach me a couple of things because I have a lot to learn from him. With that win, I mean, where do you think it puts you in the division? Do you feel like you're right at the top? Like, you know, do you think a title shot could come, or do you think you have to fight again? In my opinion, he's he was the number one contender, you know? He had a, a draw against the other champion, which he should have won. So that puts me in number one uh, spot for sure. If the belt is not the next fight, then I fight anyone that is at the top, you know? Name that we've talked about in the past. You used Eric B and Rockham, and you won. And the last one you to didn't it. use it. You used it today. No, Can we no, appreciate say Eric B and Rockham? Don't sweat the technique from now on. Hey, we talked about this before. Yeah. And uh, I thought about it, and I said, man, that's well, that's my gem, you know. So, and every time I get with that, I come in like like jumping and uh, right in the mood to do it. So, Eric B and Rakim, don't sweat the technique. It's it's what's up, uh, well, John. Uh, this fight, he talked about that brace he's uh, an MMA. Congrats had, on a that great career. Um, can't talk to me about the decision like there. I mean, and we talked about before, that when we talked to the media today. You said like you didn't stop doing this when you weren't having fun. In the wrestling like you and trying fun to come to hybrid. Do you think you showed not only Bellator, just the entire industry where Gracie MMA is in terms of blending not just jiu jitsu but all around grappling? I think I'm the one in my family that's been showing that for years, you know. So it's uh, I can do everything, I can strike, I can take down. And uh, I'm really happy with my performance, man. And I can't wait for my next fight. I want to fight again soon. I want to fight this year. So everybody at Bellator, please get me uh, uh, the next fight soon. So Lima is fighting uh, next month. Maybe we can do it in December, you know? If he comes down, if he comes back down to, to Waterway. Congratulations on the win, Neiman. Um, I gotta ask, it looked like it was both a heel hook and a knee bar. Was it a, kind of like a little bit of both? Because it looked like you, you were going for it was a knee bar as well, or was it a full on heel hook? It's a hybrid move, you know? Like I said, uh, Professor John Donaher was one of my head coaches together with my master, uh, Hanzo Gracie and Jamie Crowder. But this time, Professor John Donaher took care of my camp. So if you want to learn that move, buy his DVD. For oh, real, you guys are laughing. I'm, I'm uh, serious. Uh, 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 training with Danaher was uh, just, since there's always been this idea that, like, that the traditional Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, people don't use leg locks. We heard Vinny Maghala said that he doesn't believe that leg locks work. 
So what was it like going into this, uh, I guess, this, this new type of jiu-jitsu and wearing this type, these types of submission moves? It's not new for me. I've been training with Professor John for over 10 years now, you know? <laughs> so it's not a new thing for me. Master Hanzo Gracie has been showing me these moves for years too. So our school in New York is known for having the best leg lock game in the world, you know? So I just took take advantage of that, but uh, I do everything. It's not only leg locks, I can do it all. Thank you guys. Yes. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, right before the uh, submission, it looks like you guys were talking back and forth. What was uh, what was John Fitch saying to you right before the submission? I was uh, trying to finish him, and he tried to go to, to get me with a punch from there. And as soon as he threw the punch, I took my face off, and his glove passed right here. Then I said, whoa, that was close. And he said, I'm going to get the next one. It looks crazy. I'm going to get the next one. Then I said, you don't got to shoot. And boom, then I hit him. Then I went to the leg and, and finished. You know, it was very uh, fun. And he's a veteran. For him being there, it's like a walk in the park. So as soon as he stepped in the cage, he was already laughing, talking to me. I was like, well, this guy is it's comfortable in, in here, you know? All right. Thanks, Neiman. Congrats. Thank you, guys. Obrigado. <laughs>